Well, oh, welcome to part two. So, first job, get a string line corner to corner. I'm gonna bring my plate up to that line because I want to make sure this is perfectly straight. Okay, all the way through here. You can see there I've got a bit of building out to do because my line there Okay, I'm going to make sure that plate's right on that line. All right, all the way through. So my roof's going to be nice and straight. As you can see here that that, that second plate, I'm probably going to change that because that's a banana. I use that for noggins. So I want to make sure that that plate's nice and straight. And then I've quickly just put, because this was an existing garage, the brickies I use are very good. So from there to there, I'm just checking before I start my roof that we're somewhere within there okay now i'm happy with that okay so i'm straight the way through so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put some halving joints on there okay and then i'm going to start i'll show you how to mark it out so what i'm using is i'm using 100 mil multi-fix screw concrete screw with a star bit on the end impact bangs them in nice and quick and then we've got a six mil SVS bit there. So I'm gonna use that to fix that wall plate. Lovely strong right. fixing. Loads of you comment on my videos. Why haven't you got a skill saw? I've got a skill saw, but sometimes by the time I feel like I've messed around, I can just cut it by hand. So I'm just gonna cut that out by hand. To a great little thing I've bought, it's this little tiny square here. Perfect for squaring things off like that. And it fits in your pouch, absolutely perfect so what i'm doing here is i'm just parallel paralleling the plates okay so that right there's got to be 5880 now because i'm working on my own holding that tape and coming across is a bit tricky so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut a series of joists at uh, 5880 and then fix them that end and then pull this plate to uh that measurement so i've checked the plates for parallel they're good and cut the ra joist to size and then pull that plate fix the rafters in fix the joist in and then fix the plate down to the wall afterwards but a little trick here is when you're working on your own so if you make a little saw cut in there run your tape out okay so my, i'm now hands free you see so i can now go through here and I can mark exactly where my rafters are going to go because you've got to be really particular with these because if you're not absolutely bang on, each noggin's individual where you can start running. So I'll pull the tape out a little bit there. So it's on the edge. But if you're more accurate are now, the easier the job becomes. So try and be as accurate as possible because all my noggins should be 342, uh, 352. So I want to cut the noggins all in one hit, you see. And now, now I can release the tape. Do the same the other side. Release the tape. A little saw cut there, loose the tape. I can go through, just mark that. X where the timber sits. Hello, so as you can see what I've done here is I've stacked all the joists out so I can um, easily fix them through and then what I'm going to do is just time lapse it and go through and fix it up and then um, go from there, should be nice and easy, fixing it with some 90 mil smooth nails. So what I've done this side over here, I'm going to fix that side first because I know that that plate's straight and I'll come around and fix this side.
Thanks for watching. So all I've got to do there now is I'm going to string a line from this end to that end. Start off straight. Okay, get that one straight. Put noggin in against this brick block work. And then I'm just going to run on a set of noggin. So because what I've done is I've set out these all nice and accurately, all my noggins will be exactly the same. So to work out my noggin size, 400 centre. So all I do is hold that on one side, like so. Okay, so that's a, uh, that'll be a 353 noggin. All right, all the way through to the end. Stay so as you can see, coming to the end of the floor joist video here. Um, this is uh, the one and only Ian from the poshest place in the planet. So technically, these aren't called noggins. These are called floor strutting, solid floor strutting. But everyone calls them noggins. So Ian's using the gasless, the world first fixer. Bit heavier than the pads load. Good for the exercise, good for the muscles, but don't have to worry about the gas. You can see here we've just, you can go either side of the line or you can keep them straight. I personally like them nice and straight. So we've just put a line here, come in the same measurement up the top and then just ping the chalk line to work to. Thanks for watching.